The ocean is rising and the land is sinking. Around the world, entire islands and even whole nations are fighting for survival against the sea. Today, we are talking about places that may disappear within our lifetime. Tuvalu, a small Pacific nation of just 12,000 people, is barely two meters above sea level. Its main island, Funafuti, is already being eaten by the tides. Scientists warn that much of Tuvalu could vanish in just a few decades, forcing its people to migrate to countries like New Zealand and Australia to preserve their identity. Tuvalu's government has even created a digital nation, a copy of their culture and history. Online, before the land is lost, the Maldives, home to more than half a million people, looks like paradise but lives under constant threat, with an average height of only one and a half meters. Experts say nearly three-quarters of this country could be underwater by the end of the century. To prepare, the Maldivian government built Hohimel, an artificial island raised above the sea. But can one man-made island save an entire nation if the ocean keeps rising? Kiribati, with about 120,000 people, has already lost two of its islands. The government took an extraordinary step by purchasing land in Fiji. Preparing for the day when whole communities might have to move abroad, imagine an entire country leaving behind its homeland forever. The Marshall Islands, home to 60,000 people, face another tragedy. As salt water seeps into the soil, Crops are dying and fresh water is disappearing. Scientists warn that within decades, life there could become impossible. Many Marshallese are already relocating to the United States, but they leave behind a culture that may not survive without its land. In the Solomon Islands, Nuatambu has shrunk to less than half its size in just a few decades. Families have been forced to move inland, but soon there may be no inland left at all. Even in South Asia, the threat is real. Goromara Island in India as Bay of Bengal has lost more than half its land since the 1960s, displacing thousands of people. And Majuli in Assam, the world's largest river island with about 160,000 residents, is eroding so quickly that scientists believe it could vanish completely within 20 years. Across these islands and nations, millions of people face the same future, becoming climate refugees. Some governments are raising land, others are buying foreign soil and some are building digital archives to keep their identity alive. But no matter what they do, the sea continues to rise. This is not only about geography, it's about humanity. Families, cultures, and entire nations could be erased by the ocean. And if these places can disappear, the question is, who will be next?